Isaac Newton was born in England on Christmas Day in 1642. Before even he opened his eyes, his father was already dead. His mother left him when he was only 3 and did not return until he was 11. When she did, it was with a new family and a husband, a stepfather who Isaac Newton despised. Newton's refuge from his miserable family life was his passion to understand how things worked especially nature itself In 1661 the talented young Isaac entered Trinity College at Cambridge University where he was a consistently lousy student one without friends or a loving family to provide any warmth or encouragement Newton mostly kept to himself sequestered in his room studying ancient greek philosophers geometry and languages and pondering deep questions on the nature of matter space time and motion when newton received the bachelor's degree in april 1665 the plague closed the university and for most of the following 2 years he was forced to stay at his home during the plague years newton laid the foundations of the calculus and extended an earlier insight in optics Newton fully accepted the mechanical nature of light although he chose the atomistic alternative and held that light consists of material corpuscles in motion through a series of experiments performed in 1665 and 1666 in which the spectrum of a narrow beam was projected onto the wall of a darkened chamber Newton denied the concept of modification and replaced it with that of analysis Basically he denied that light is simple and homogeneous stating instead that it is complex and heterogeneous In his leisure he also examined the elements of circular motion and applying his analysis to the moon and the planets derived the inverse square relation that the radially directed force acting on a planet decreases with the square of its distance from the sun which was later crucial to the law of universal gravitation the world heard nothing of these discoveries when edmund halley found newton on a fateful day he was living as a virtual recluse newton had gone into hiding 13 years earlier after robert hooke had publicly accused newton of stealing his groundbreaking work on light and color in fact it was isaac newton who solved the mystery of the spectrum of light not robert hooke This wound was painful and deep and Newton resolved to never expose himself to that kind of public humiliation ever again. Sir, I don't suppose you recall our meeting a few years ago? Yes, Mr. Halley. I'm sorry to bother you. Never mind the formalities, get to your point. I've been talking with our friends Mr. Wren and Mr. Hook. That scoundrel Hook's no friend of mine. Yes, I understand, sir. But the thing is, we've been debating the puzzling question of planetary motion. We all agree that some force of attraction from the sun governs the motions of the planets. We suspect there must be a mathematical law to describe how this force changes with distance. And knowing of your skill, yes, yes, the attraction of gravity weakens with the square of the distance. That's why the planets move in ellipses. But sir, how can you know this? Why I have calculated it some 5 years ago. I beg you show it to me. The calculation is here. Somewhere. Well no matter. I shall redo it and be sure to send it on to you. This is stupendous. Why have we not had word of it before? Newton remembered all too well what Hook had done to him the last time he put forth an idea. Just when Halley may have begun to wonder if Newton was bluffing as Hook had done earlier. A messenger arrived with an envelope from Newton. Halle raced back to Cambridge. Mr. Newton, I beseech you to work all of this into a book as soon as possible. I can assure you, the Royal Society will publish it. However, the Royal Society pretty much blew its total annual budget and was strapped for cash. With no money to print Newton's Principia, the scientific revolution hung in the balance. Without Halle's heroic efforts, The reclusive Newton's masterwork might never have seen the light of day. He was determined to bring Newton's genius to the world. Halley resolved not only to edit Newton's book but to publish it at his own expense. 
Newton completed the first two volumes laying the mathematical framework for the physics of motion. In the third volume, Newton applied his principles to explain all the known motions of the earth, the moon and the planets. This gave birth to the laws of motion and the universal law of gravitation. Besides these contributions, Newton also worked on the generation of heat in chemical reactions, surface tension in fluids, capillary action, the cohesion of bodies, the attractions and repulsions between particles of matter, binomial theorem, reflecting telescope, the newton raphson method of approximation and many more. He contributed to the fields of physics, natural philosophy, alchemy, theology, mathematics, astronomy and economics. Although his reconciliation through the concept of force was his ultimate contribution to science. Newton died in his sleep in London on 20th March 1727. His body was buried in Westminster Abbey. After his death, Newton's hair was examined and found to contain mercury, probably resulting from his alchemical pursuits. Mercury poisoning could explain Newton's eccentricity in late life.